Arduino can input a sensor data and send it to a laptop. That data can be used in applications such as pure data to control sounds. For example, you can twist the knob and increase or decrease the volume of a synth. Or you can use it to control sci-fi alien sounds. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, is it possible to use sensors and buttons to create a musical instrument? The answer to that is yes. Let's learn about electronic musical instrument. So what exactly is electronic musical instrument? Well, there are many commercial music controllers out there, commonly known as MIDI controllers. We can hook these hardware up to our laptop and automate or control sounds in real time. Instead of using the mouse to draw these automations, it's more efficient, engaging, and expressive to use a more tactile, physical interface. In these types of product, knobs and faders are commonly used. But what if we used sensors that are more interesting? Something that allows us to perform electronic music more dynamically instead of looking like we're checking our emails. What if we used a string sensor? String accordion, created by Camouflage, consists of a special string sensor that can be pulled and also moved around to control sounds. What if we control sounds with hand motions in the air? Nova Portals, created by Nova Zai, is performed by dynamically moving your hand in the air to control sounds. It is a uniquely touchless instrument that allows him to perform space musically. By using Arduino, we can use all kinds of different sensors to control sounds. We can create a physically engaging instrument that allows dynamic movements when performing live on stage. And it's visually engaging for the audience as well. Speaking of performing live, author and Punisher even opened up for the band Tool using his DIY musical instrument. So these projects have a lot of potential in the studio and on stage. One of the commonalities between these instruments are that Arduino is used. Sensors are hooked up to the Arduino and the data is sent to the computer via USB cable. And with our laptop, we can run programs such as MaxMSP and Pure Data and control synthesizers using these sensor data. And we can also use DAWs such as Ableton. So, if the idea of designing and building your very own one-of-a-kind instrument sounds like the coolest thing you heard all day, then let us learn. We'll learn about analog and digital inputs and how to use these data with pure data to control sounds. And we'll also learn how to use LEDs to make our project flashy. And we'll learn how to work with circuits and electronics. I'll do my absolute best to make soldering not as intimidating as you may think. Our goal is to build this ribbon controller instrument. On this channel, we already covered sound synthesis basics and programming in pure data. So please follow those tutorials before we dive into the hardware. In terms of the cost, pure data is absolutely free and Arduino and DIY electronics are very affordable. After we build the ribbon controller instrument, I'll make videos about instrument design concepts, sensors that could be used for music projects, tips and tricks that I learned over the years from my own project, and other topics that will help you with your instrument design. I hope this video introduced you to the world of electronic musical instrument, and I also hope to see a unique one-of-a-kind instrument designed by you. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Huge thanks and shout out to Camouflage and Nova Zai for allowing me to use the footage of their instruments. Please do follow them on social media. Cami does amazing and fun techno live stream on Twitch every Friday. I'm usually tuning into it, so I hope to see you in chat. And Nova Zai is a fantastic musician, and you can check out his music on Bandcamp. I highly recommend that you check out his projects. I'll put links to everything down below.